So the next one is audio monitoring. So if we're on our uh, scene like this and we get one of our sources that's got some sound on it, we can press the cog and go to advanced audio properties. And you've got your audio monitoring that you can turn on so it's monitor only or monitor and output so you can hear it and the stream hears it. So rather than going into these settings all the time, we can tell the on board to change this setting anytime we need. So if I go to the on board now and just create another button, and um, for this one I'm gonna call it toggle uh, video uh, monitor ring. There we go. Just something like that. Press create. I'm going to right click and add some commands to it. And press the plus sign. Go on the left hand side here and choose change audio monitor type. So the source that we're going to select is the be right back video as you can see just down here because that's the, the audio source we want to monitor and we can change the monitor, monitor type. So this is exactly the same as what's on this. So let me move that out of the way. And you can see on this drop down, these two are exactly the same. So you've got monitor off, monitor on, and monitor and output. You've got monitor off, monitor only, and monitor and output. So if I change that to monitor and output, uh, select done and done again. If I press this button here to toggle monitor and output and refresh this page, because it's not going to change whilst we're on there. Go to advanced audio properties. You'll see it now says monitor and output. Again, if I created another button inside of Leon board, uh, I could copy and paste this. So right click copy, right click paste, and I'm going to change the text. Uh, toggle video mon monitoring uh, off. Like that. So I'm going to turn that off, right click it, edit the commands, and we're going to change it back to none. Press done, press done again, and then now when I switch between the two, if I press toggle monitor off, nothing as you can see changes, but if we go into the audio properties, you can see monitor in is off. So let's turn it on once more, toggle it on, check the audio properties again, and you can see the monitor and output is on there. So you can create loads of different custom buttons for monitoring different audio. Uh, there are some things that I'm making in the near future that utilize a lot of audio and things like that, so definitely stay subscribed for that.